Hello and welcome to this week's edition of CTN Community Update. The city's most popular park closed for renovations this week and will remain closed through the summer. On Tuesday, work crews began cutting down trees and clearing the way for the reconstruction of Lyons Coon Creek Park. The roughly 15 acre site will remain closed for the entire 2019 season. The plan calls for a complete renovation of the park as part of the park bond approved by voters in 2013. City officials need the public's cooperation, staying away from the park during construction. The trail system on the south side of the creek is open if you wanted to continue to ride the trails or walk the trails, but anything on the north side of the creek as it comes up through the park, we'd, we'd like for the safety of everyone to just uh, try to keep out while we finish the project. The new accessible playground will have rubberized surface for added safety, plus new play features. Other amenities include three larger picnic shelters, a bocce ball court, and much more. Plus, the old wooden bridge will be replaced with a new bridge. The park will open again in the spring of 2020. There is a growing problem parents need to be aware of, teen vaping. According to the FDA, vaping among high schoolers has increased 78% in just the last year alone. Next week, parents are invited to learn more about the problem at an informational event. It will take place April 16th from 6 to 8 p.m. at the Educational Service Center in Anoka. Learn more about e-cigarettes, the different types of vaping devices, and how to talk to your teen about the risks and consequences of vaping. A group of 20 Coon Rapids High School students working to attend out-of-state leadership events have a story to tell for the rest of their lives. For 24 hours straight, students with DECA played a continuous game of kickball. The game kicked off at 8 a.m. on Saturday and didn't wrap up until Sunday morning. DECA prepares emerging leaders and entrepreneurs for future roles in marketing, finance, hospitality, and management. In order to participate, each member had to find three sponsors willing to give $1 an hour. They also had to find local businesses willing to donate food and drinks to keep the game going all day and night. Um, I learned how supportive our community is. Truly going out and finding donations, finding sponsors, not only um, just like for food, that how um, excited they are to donate to us for, for a cause, and then also our partners, how excited they are to, to donate so we can send more kids all over the world. DECA advisor Blake Bodenberg says the fundraiser is an exercise in leadership that will help pay for travel expenses ranging from $700 to $3,000. After 24 hours and 244 innings, the final score was 278 to 270. Gardeners who have been hiding their green thumbs under winter gloves are anxious for the planting to begin. This past weekend, close to 150 people spent a full day learning new skills for when the snow finally melts. CTN's Dan Carpenter takes us to the 13th annual Home Landscaping and Garden Fair. When tree pruning has you stumped, you can easily get away with it helps to ask an expert. A little pruner like this. This class is one of many offered at the University of Minnesota Extension Home Landscaping and Garden Fair. And so I can just put rock and then this on top. And they're not only for experienced gardeners with big yards. We have people who live in townhouses that will grow vegetables in pots and containers. So um, it's not necessarily geared towards people with big large Gardens? The Anoka County Master Gardener Program hosts the 16 vendors, 40 or so volunteers, more than a dozen presenters, and close to 150 anxious students. Oh, I think the first thing people say when they walk in and see the vendors here and see the plants, they're just like, oh, it smells so good, and I can't wait to get into the garden. Are you ready to bring the little spring into the house pre-garden? Tiffany Hammond with Forever Floral. I'm crossing those stems. Is sharing more than 25 years of floral design experience. This is gonna be one of my taller flowers, right? Because it's got some interest. And so here, I'm gonna go right into that center area. For most in this classroom. This one's maybe a little too tall. Floral design. Statement and a response. Is something new. I've never done arrangements before. I've always cut flowers and brought them in. I never thought about how they really looked. 
Other classes focused on keeping plants healthy and what to plant to take full advantage of Minnesota's summers. They're fun too, they're fun classes. A day of learning. I'd cut that one just a little bit. While waiting for summer to bloom. Dan Carpenter for CTN Update. The next big Anoka County Master Gardener event is a plant sale. It will be held May 14th and 15th at the Anoka Armory. I waited for the on my door. I waited, but you must have lost your way. Mother Nature didn't stop the final winter concert in the Civic Center on Thursday night. Those who were able to make it were treated to music from accordion performer Richard Saplinski, who's been playing the accordion for more than 70 years. The Coon Rapids Arts Commission has released the lineup for the summer concert series at the Coon Rapids Dam. Things kick off on June 6th with the classic rock sounds of the Mooners. On June 13th, it's the Dirty Shorts Brass Band. And on June 20th, it's the blues sounds of the Everett Smithson Band. June 27th, the Red Letter Band performs country tunes, followed by the acoustic sounds of Minnesota Blue on July 11th, the rock and roll sounds of the Backyard Band on July 18th, and the pop duo Kenny and Rick on July 25th. Moving to August, Vinnie Rose performs on the 1st, and the Revolution 5, a Beatles cover band, closes things out on August 8th. All concerts are free and begin at 7 p.m. at the Coon Rapids Dam. And we are very excited for summer to get here. That's going to do it for us today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here again next week.